Innovators can change everything. It's a special few who look at the world and see possibilities that no one else has imagined. It takes courage, focus, and persistence to follow a new path. Often, innovators are ignored, even ridiculed for their ideas. For over 20 years, Barbara Aerosmith worked against conventional wisdom. She's a remarkable woman whose work in the field of education has forever changed the lives of many students and parents. It started in grade one. We were told that Dennis was not picking up things. At the end of the year, we were told that basically it would be better for Dennis to repeat the grade, grade one. We were devastated. I remember I was crying. I said, repeat grade one? I mean, this, this is, uh, where, where is the problem? So began Brian and Rita Corcoran's parental nightmare. The worst part is the isolation that one feels. You know, I, where, where do you go? We really tried to investigate everything, every kind of technique and school system and everything. School is difficult for me because I always had to try to mask the fact that I couldn't read, write, because I didn't want my friends to find out. Finally, the Corcorans learned about a small Toronto school with an innovative approach to learning and learning disabilities, the Aerosmith School. Aerosmith has had real success treating students with learning disabilities such as dyslexia. At Aerosmith, students undergo rigorous testing to identify weaknesses in specific areas of the brain. Then a series of exercises are designed for each student to strengthen these areas of weakness. Think of it as physiotherapy for the brain. I believe what this work is, is doing is stimulating the function of weak cognitive areas. So in, instead of if there's a weakness, finding uh, other roads around the weakness, this is driving right into the weakness. And through exercising and stimulating it, it it's, it's strengthening it, building it up, increasing the functioning or the capacity. That's it. Classes at Aerosmith are unique. Clocks, foreign characters, pictures, tracing, and auditory exercises are the norm. Barbara Aerosmith Young has identified 19 potential areas of the brain and exercises to strengthen them. Another 10. Fantastic. Barbara's ideas were met with skepticism by educators and scientists alike. For 25 years, Barbara worked in virtual isolation, developing her methods and never wavering in her theories. There really wasn't a context to put this work in. There really wasn't um, a lot of acceptance for the idea that learning disabilities might have their source in, in cognitive areas or, or brain areas that were weaker in functioning. Um, that concept wasn't there. So there wasn't really a lot of acceptance. It felt sort of like a voice in the wilderness. But that's starting to change. Last year's Nobel Prize winner, Eric Kandel, demonstrated that branches between neurons in the brain can grow and develop, validating Barbara's theory that weak areas can be strengthened through exercises. These exercises help students learn to express themselves more clearly. Even more remarkable, Barbara's methods have translated into academic success for Aerosmith students. At some point when the brain is engaged and starts to become strong, there's a shift over into the academic. It happens by itself almost. And so what happens is the kids start to achieve in their academic That's subjects. That's what he did at Dieppe. He was needed. And even death must have been, been a little ashamed at his eagerness. Excellent. Very well read. You know, um, Errol Smith, he just, he just read. So obviously... The information is there, it's just that it wasn't being processed. When I go back to the books I really struggled with, I, 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 it's much easier. I, I surprise myself that I can read it now, and I struggled with it so much before. When Dennis started at Aerosmith, he was reading at a grade 2 level, and after 18 months he was reading at a grade 9 level, and that means Dennis will return to a regular high school this fall. Dennis? I'm going to do, uh, stepping into battle. Or yes. Stepping into something they wanted them to do. Yes, exactly. But Dennis wasn't the only one to overcome a learning disability. I read things backwards. I wrote everything backwards. Remarkably, at age 28, Barbara began testing her groundbreaking theories on her first subject, herself. Initially, her brain exercises yielded surprising results. I could start reading things, understanding them, I didn't have to read them 25 times before they made sense, that I realized something had significantly changed. 
Today, Barbara's methods are gaining widespread interest. A number of private schools have adopted her methods. The Toronto Separate School Board uses the program in six schools, and next year, Aerosmith will be introduced in Vancouver. Mary Jane McKean teaches the Aerosmith method at the Transfiguration of Our Lord Primary School. I had done all the programs, and they still weren't reading. And I was frustrated, the parents were frustrated, and the children were frustrated. And what Aerosmith has done, it has opened a door. It's given the children keys to the future. And to me, this is uh, something that I never dreamed was possible. The strongest testament to Barbara's work is the ability and confidence she's given her students. Devora Garland was one of Aerosmith's first students. Barbara and her technique has made that difference in my life. I really believe that with all my heart. When I came here, after the first couple months, I realized that it really was changing me and helping me in a lot of ways. So I'm pretty happy, actually. I'm really happy that I finally got it and that I've tried so hard and I eventually achieved it, my goal. It's good. I'm getting better. Barbara's a special woman with remarkable insight, empathy, and determination. Her spirit and innovation has made the difference in many lives and promises to help many, many more. She's an innovator, all right. She's a pioneer. She took what she had learned and she said to herself, I can give this to other people. I feel very humbled and I feel very blessed that, that I've been able to do this work. And yet, I can always see where I need to go. So I'm sort of never satisfied with where I am right now. And I don't think I will be satisfied until it's out in a lot more school systems, reaching a lot more students. Look at this beautiful sunny day and the sun is coming through. But when you have a learning disability, sometimes the sun doesn't come through to those parts of your brain, does it? Mm -hmm. And so what, is all, what have all the, the Aerosmith exercises helped you to do? It's helped to bring that sun through. And you know, you should be so proud. And we're going to continue, right? Yes. Yes. Give, and let's give ourselves a big clap for all the hard work. I'm sure that 25 years from now, this is just going to become a household word, the Aerosmith method. Oh, yeah. That's what children go to when they can't learn in conventional ways, and it takes care of the problem, and then they can learn conventionally. And that, that's a true innovation. Follow-up research shows that 80% of Aerosmith students go on to reach their academic and career goals. At school, they find they fit in, make friends more easily, and at home, they get along better with their parents and siblings. Aerosmith is helping children and adults make their dreams a reality.